How's it going guys? It's your boy it's your Lieutenant Dan back again for another Falcons film breakdown. We're breaking down Tack McKinley and his performance against the Detroit Lions. We'll show you about three or four plays. And what I was so excited to see during the beginning of this year was Tack McKinley's growth as an athlete. And that's what he was during college. He was an athletic guy um, and he used his power and speed and athleticism to beat offensive linemen. The technical stuff will come within time, uh, and more playing experience, uh, more time on the field, getting thrown into the fire like he is right now. What happens on this play here is that um, if you're an offensive lineman and you don't deal with athletes very well, but you're a very technical, sound offensive lineman, you're going to have trouble with Tack McKinley because he's a, he's a vicious dog. And he will, he will just out-athlete you all the way to the quarterback and to the running back, and clog up lanes. That's what Tack McKinley is. So, fun fact on this play, in Tack McKinley's first professional sack, he's going to stutter step and test Greg Robinson and see if he's going to respect his speed or he's going to technically block this area and square it up. Um, I talk to you guys all about, all the time about squaring up as an offensive lineman, and there's two forms of that. One is being technically sound and blocking a guy completely out of the play, but that's when you have your hands on him. And the other time is when you are square as an offensive lineman and you put yourself and others around you in danger because you've been beat and you're not in the technically correct area. Let's watch this play from both angles. Tack McKinley going to attack Greg Robinson with a slight stutter here. First he'll stutter, then speed. Transition to power and get the sack. That is what you get with Tack McKinley. And he'll learn the technical aspects later. But just doing the little things like the, the right angle to the ball. Uh, going from going from the extreme outside, sliding inside slightly, stuttering, and taking the correct angle to dip underneath and get under these long arms of Greg Robinson. Use his own arms. Use his own arms to chop out of the way and get underneath the arms of Greg Robinson and go in and get this sack. 100% sold on Tack McKinley as a pass rusher, at least with the athletic prowess that he has. And he seems like a smart kid. He seems like he knows what he's going to do. Now we'll look at it from the other side. And, and hey, man, look, I'm just telling you, it doesn't get any better with this view. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. It's great. I love it. Stutter, st uh, speed to the outside, speed back into the inside with power, and boom, gets the sack. Come on, guys, it doesn't get any better than that. Doesn't get any better than this. Stuttering up and sizing up Greg Robinson when he wants to block the play out like this. And then using speed around the edge. And then by the time he gets to about here, he's gonna use power and push through and drive through to the quarterback and get this off. This blocked edge technically worked, athletically not gifted enough to take on Tack McKinley at this point. He wasn't in the wrong place. The offensive lineman was not in the wrong place. Let's be completely honest here. Let's let's pause. Tack McKinley just speeds around him. He's in the right place. Greg Robinson's in the right place. The speed around the corner and then power towards the inside. Yeah, you're not stopping that. Nice try. Just just as uh just as simple as this. And I don't care where you put him. I, you can put him on the left side. You can put him on the right side. But just getting your hand up in the air, you know? Having the wherewithal to just go, I got to put my hand in this guy's throwing lane. There he is, right there on 71. Whew. It's, this kid's got a dangerous set of instincts and athleticism that's allowing him to take the league and surprise NFL quality 
guards, tackles. And the speed at which he comes at this offensive lineman, number 71, the right tackle, surprises him. Just great effort. And then my last play that I wanted to show you, Tat McKinley at the bottom of your screen there. Terrible drawing. Let's actually highlight Tat McKinley. There we go. That's better. Coming down here on a running play. Posting up the edge, setting it, and making the tackle for loss. Let's watch again. The offensive lineman has longer arms than Tat McKinley, so he gets arms on him first, but Tat McKinley has the better positioning in his arms underneath the pads right here, up in the chest area near your armpits, okay? Sounds disgusting, I know. He gets the better leverage on this offensive lineman, and now his responsibility is to set this edge, and he does so. So when the running back, and I think maybe this running back had two options. Option number one was to go up the seam here, and that didn't turn out to be a, uh, a viable way to go. So then he's going to kick it back outside over here. And Tack McKinley just had this edge set so well. And you saw it in the Bears game and a little bit in the Packers game too. And he just makes this tackle. And then fireman rolls. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> but Tack McKinley makes this play happen. Let's look at it from the other angle. Here's your boy, Tack McKinley, from the other side of this play. And I'm just excited about Tack McKinley, man, because it two things jump out to me on the tape. The athleticism and the the instincts of Tack McKinley. I saw that in college. It's translating here into the NFL, and then Dan Quinn's teaching teaching him the technical aspects of the game. And even against backup offensive linemen, this Detroit Lions offense and its line in general is still far superior than any of the lines that we've seen thus far in this year's games. So up to week three, this has been the most superior line we've seen, and it was banged up. And 71 still, I mean, you can't do that, man. You can't do this. Look, look, look. He's square. He's squared up. Now Tap McKinley can do whatever he wants to him. Now again, like I said, I think this was supposed to be the, the, the running lane right up the middle on a draw, but this gets, I think he might have seen, um, I think he might have seen Deion Jones there, and because of that, he kicked back outside. He saw Jones. Jones and him were locked up, and look at Tat McKinley. He set this edge, and he's watched this running back this whole play. Just gets this tackle for loss. One more time for you guys. This is everything that I wanted to highlight about Vic Beasley. And and for years I've been talking about, oh, I want Vic Beasley to do this. Tap McKinley's doing it, man. Tap McKinley is learning how to do this stuff. And I've been hollering about, I want to highlight Vic Beasley doing, doing stuff like this. He's just not as strong as Tack is. Buy into McKinley stock, folks, because this guy's going to start turning into a beast soon. I don't know how soon, but definitely soon. Watch out. So, yeah, this is kind of what I wanted to show you guys from the game, things that kind of popped out to me. There are a couple other plays that, that I liked, uh, but I thought these were the most important. Just one more time time for you guys. I just wanted to show this again. Mm. Set the edge. Get the tackle for loss.